I kind of feel like this is the biggest impediment to the Lions being around for the long haul is that it seems clear to me this division has a chance to very quickly be the best division in football. I mean, the Packers are looking legit with Jordan Love and their young core of receivers. Well, two of the final four in the NFC are from the North. <laughs> the the Lions obviously are what they are. The Bears are in, an incredibly young team with I think we all see how they could they could be good. So while the window might be opening for the Lions, it feels like it's also potentially opening here for the Packers and the Bears. Yeah, I <laughs> and there's a big difference between being the division champ and being a wild card. This is the year that the Lions had to win the division because it was theirs to take. They were the best team in the division. And when you look at the standings, um, it wasn't even close. You know, it was a three-game difference. However, moving forward, <laughs> this division is up for grabs. It's up for grabs to the Packers for sure. Mm -hmm. And depending on how the Bears, you know, deal with the draft and what they're going to do with the quarterback situation, the Bears can be there right away. And if the Vikings... You know, they, they've got some decisions to make on what they're going to do. Um, but if if they don't spend money on Cousins, can they spend money yeah. on, on a quarterback that cost them half as much on the free agent market but is actually pretty decent quarterback? I wouldn't want to be a Vikings fan right now. I'd be, yeah, because you're, kind of you're a little bit in no man's land here, right? Yeah. Because do you do it? Do you not do it? Do you start over? And, you know, if you're starting over, you're not likely to get a, a quarterback of substance, you wouldn't think, where they're being drafting. Um, I mean, you could. I, I happen to think Bo Nix is going to be a heck of a quarterback, and he'd be available in the middle of the first round if you wanted to, or maybe even the second round. You know, if you want to go the J.J. McCarthy route, you, you could. But there are options there. But the bottom line is the Packers and the Bears and the Lions, they've got a head start. Yep. And the Lions have the biggest head start, uh, although the Packers, the fact that they're – in this uh, final four as well speaks well on what they're at, but th that's a Packers and Packers and Lions are, are, are similar uh, with, with having the young players on both sides of the ball. The difference is the Packers quarterback is younger, but he's not that much younger because he sat for a couple of years before he had his chance to play. It's just a little disconcerting that he's hit the ground running in his first year as a starter. I'm real hesitant when we talk about windows for any teams, you know, especially ours, of course, but because the NFL, not for long, right? You can turn it around quickly. There's this, like, everyone thinks there's this process you have to take, and you can take a process, baby steps, you know, one win, five wins, nine wins, win the division, whatever. Or you could be, I don't know, worse in the division and win it the next year because it happens every year in the NFL. I worry about... That's why a lot of people wanted to quote unquote go for it at the trade deadline. Yep. I think you have to be responsible as a GM, of course. You got to make something that's sustain sustainable, right? For years to come. You want to be competitive every single year. But you also know that that window can close quickly. And before you know it, you're the darling of the dance, and then you're not even invited the next year. Yep. This happens all the time in the NFL, and they open up another playoff spot so other teams can get in now. Half the league basically makes the playoffs, yep. guys. So. We thought the Bears, maybe not we, but the, most of the national media thought the Bears were going to be terrible this year. They don't look that bad. How many games did they end up winning? Seven? I think there were seven wins. Seven yeah. wins for that team, okay? That looked like they didn't, maybe didn't even belong in the division to start this year. Including one over the Lions. The Packers. What happened to that slow rebuild? I don't know. They're playing the Niners <laughs> yeah. to get for a chance to go to the NFC Championship game already. So things happen quickly. I really I scare about the window thing, opening, closing. I think you always got to watch your back in this league. I mean, the Lions look like they're in a good position. Don't get me wrong. I don't remember as well as you guys did, but in 91-92, how did it look for the Lions it back then? Great. You know what I mean? They had it the, the best running back in the league, an offense that couldn't slow, you know, couldn't be slowed down, Spielman, Benny Blades on defense. I don't know. And then they hadn't won a playoff game in the next 30 years. So I always worry about things when they look good. So I, I try to live in the right now, of course, and have an eye on the future. But I do trust Brad Holmes. Yeah. I do trust Dan Campbell more than I've trusted anybody else in this organization before them. So Nothing's a given, but the opportunity is there to be around for a while. But I, the, my hesitation isn't as much about that. My hesitation is I think the massive difference between winning the division and being a wild card is something that makes it worth winning the division and trying to win the division every year. And I think this division is going to be tough. 
I think this is about to be the toughest division in the NFC. And I mean, you can make the case it already is. <laughs> you <laughs> in can. In a strange way, because they got, we got two teams standing here. The case is made right now that it is. Yep. With it, without question. <laughs> um, which, which I don't think it is, but I could use the two teams left standing as as evidence that that's the case. Well, it's amazing, and to Kang's point of how quickly things change, eight weeks ago people would have said, well, the NFC East, I mean, Dallas and Philly, these teams are really good. Bye-bye. I mean, amazing. Yep. Absolutely amazing.